What's up, everybody? It is Monday, 8-11 p.m., uh, May 23rd, 2016. Time for a pre-market prep, post-market review video. Today was a little bit of a dull session this Monday on in May. So uh, markets took off a little bit, t took off this Monday. So not a lot of movement. SPY ended up in the red on very low volume. Uh, it's it closed stayed really the entire bar, bar stayed below the 50-day moving average uh, kept the trend line intact here um, both this kind of higher level trend line and the uh, and kind of a, a, a even a deeper um, deeper sloping uh, downtrend line if you wanted to put it in a little bit early to put it in yet but um, and we stayed in in the range that we've been staying in. So, really low day, uh, low volume day. Uh, similar looking for uh, the Qs, na the Nasdaq, and uh, on the Russell, we actually popped up above the 200-day moving average and then went all the way back down to close below it. Um, so not ready to move higher on the Russell. So one thing that was interesting was Apple. Apple traded on a little bit higher volume compared to the market and floated up uh, considerably and looks like it wants to start to at least uh, try to fill this gap here that it uh, posted on earnings. This gap down it may try to uh, go up and fill this gap at least partially. It could get stalled out here at this low at a hundred which is also a psychologically significant number. So we'll see how that goes. Gold uh, took a hit uh, today, but then uh, climbed out of the hole that it kind of had dug in and closed still lower, but uh, off the lows considerably. Um, closed below the 50-day moving average, but we're still in this kind of consolidation this kind of large consolidation area. That being said, it is a pretty stark uh, downtrend. Um, basically retrace the entire second um, breakout. So it had this second breakout here and it's basically retraced all of that now firmly in this this kind of the middle of this uh, consolidation area after its initial breakout. Uh, high back in March so we could see again I expect to see sideways action here for the foreseeable future that doesn't mean that it can't bounce off of this uh, little consolidation area here and go back up um, it'll depend on the dollar strength so do the dollar has been a little bit on fire of late and that makes sense along with the uh, pull back in the spy, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's above the uh, the 50-day. Everything's still in a downtrend, but this has um, been a pretty steep uptrend here for the dollar index, and this is starting to cause trouble for the U for oil. So oil once again closed lower. Uh, the 200-day moving average seems to be acting as resistance here on the USO. So uh, again, lighter volume. So this was a very light volume day. So I'm not sure how much you can draw from the closes on any of these days. Uh, so we'll have to see. Looking at trade setups, so there's only a few trade setups. So I'm just going to go th through them instead of doing a separate video. So we still have Noble. So this was a trade yesterday. It still tr it triggered again today. Um, these are for June 17th expiration if you want to use options if you just want to go stock you can do that as well but obviously this is kind of an uptrend um, with a consolidation pattern here and didn't move a whole lot from Friday uh, on s basically similar volume and we're we're in this kind of flagging consolidation pattern so you can buy this either on a breakout or uh, pre-breakout and, and and hope you know in with anticipation that it's going to break out, or you can wait until it goes uh, kind of at the bottom of this channel 
if you were to pick it back uh, down here and, and uh, play it for a bounce on resistance or on, bounce on support, excuse me. And then the other one that we have is RSPP. So another oil and gas um, looks similar to Fang, which triggered um, for Monday. So this kind of popped open, uh, popped up, and then sold off and to close. So uh, all all these all the trades from yesterday are still in play. Or excuse me, all yeah, all all from over the weekend. I did a video, I think uh, yesterday on all the trade setups. Those are still in play. Um, but uh, RSPP would be the only one to add onto the list, and we've got a lot of similar um, ones like that. So you might want to pick one with uh, more volume, etc. So with all that said, God bless, good luck, and great trading. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to me on YouTube, go for it. Subscribe. Uh, follow me on Twitter and StockTwits at TradeKraken, and I'm TradeKraken on YouTube. All right, thanks a lot.